What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Alex Costa. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button below to become part of our YouTube family. Now, as you guys probably already know, I don't wake up with my hair like this. It takes a little bit of work to get to my ideal hairstyle. And I've always had wavy hair and had a lot of trouble with it in the past because I wanted to try different hairstyles and my hair was just so stubborn and just didn't work. And I know a lot of you guys who don't have straight hair probably share my pain. And before we go any further, I'm not saying that curly or wavy hair is better or worse than straight hair. I think there are some amazing cuts and styles for both types. What I'm saying though is let's be honest, the grass is always greener on the other side. So if you have curly hair and you're trying to manage those curls or waves, then I have five hot tips for you. And stick around because I'm saving the best for last. Tip number one, before anything else, your hair needs to be healthy. And shampoo as little as possible because that will dry your hair out. I only shampoo once or twice a week now and that has helped me so much. You can wash it with water and condition it every single day, but definitely try to shampoo less often. Also, get used to applying a hydrating mask once in a while. I use this Moroccan oil mask for 15 minutes once a week and it detangles my hair and it makes it feel really soft and healthy. Another product you should add to your collection is some argan oil. I apply just a few drops after every wash and before I style my hair and it does wonders plus it's really affordable tip number two you're gonna need the right haircut and that's because the right haircut is the foundation to every single hairstyle and if you're looking for a new hairstyle then make sure to watch some of my videos like this one on the best hairstyle of 2017 or some of the other ones that I've listed for you in the description below this video if you have really curly hair then I'd say keep it short around three inches now if you have wavy hair then go a little bit longer four to five inches but guys everyone's hair is different. What I would suggest is enhance what you have best. So if you have really nice hair, grow it out and show it off to the world. And then if your hair is kind of hard to manage, then what I would say is keep it short and make your life easier that way. Tip number three, let's learn about some tools you can use to manage those curls. So now your hair is healthy, you have the right haircut, so let's learn about some of the tools and the actual process of managing those curls. First thing you're gonna need is a blow dryer. And even if you don't have curly hair, you should get a blow dryer anyway. Don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed. It's not just for girls, it's just a hair dryer. What you wanna do is as soon as you get out of the shower, towel dry your hair and don't be aggressive because you don't wanna lose your hair, you just wanna get rid of some of the water. Then just blow dry right away. And this will help shape each of your hair strands to your desired hairstyle. And if you want slick straight hair, you can just use a paddle brush and just brush it all back. For me, I like adding a lot of volume to my hairstyle, so I'll blow dry it upwards and towards the back. Everybody's hair is different. I personally have some trouble with some waves right here in this area, so I pay extra attention to that area when I'm blow drying. And sometimes, depending on the day or the weather, I'll even bring out the straightener to manage any stubborn waves or curls. Also guys, just a reminder that you should never apply heat to your hair without using some heat protectant products first. Remember that my first tip to you was to keep your hair healthy. I've been using either this Brazilian blowout one or this super affordable spray from Tresemme, which I included in my video for best hair products of 2017. I'm also gonna leave a link for that video in the description so you can check it out after this one. Tip number four, you're gonna need the right finishing product. If you have curly or wavy hair and you straighten it out, you blow dried it, you did all of these things, you wanna make sure that you maintain that hairstyle throughout the day, obviously. So my tip to you would be to get some medium to ideally high hold clay. That will give you the best and longest hold. And sometimes that's not even enough. You know, sometimes I'll spend a lot of time doing my hair, it looks perfect, I go outside and it's windy. And... So what I would say is I would use a little bit of hairspray just to keep that from happening. I'm gonna list some options for you in the description below. Tip number five. Hair is an amazing thing. Tip number five is probably my favorite one of them all. I've always had wavy hair and I tried growing it out a bunch of times and it just looked like shit. So I kind of gave up there for a while and I thought I probably have bad hair or difficult hair, so let's stop there. But let me tell you, you can do a lot to your hair, okay? All you need is some research and a lot of patience. There are ways to permanently get rid of waves and curls if that's what you want. And if you have straight hair, don't worry, you can do the same to get curls in your hair. I've chemically relaxed my hair a few times to get rid of all the waves and it was awesome. It finally gave me the chance to experience different hairstyles. 
Then I learned about the Brazilian blowout and I instantly loved the results and more importantly how soft my hair was after the process. Between the two I would go with the blowout, chemically relaxing your hair can dry it out and it's definitely more damaging to your hair. The blowout actually makes your hair feel amazing. So they both last about three months and I have a video on each of these processes listed in the description below so you can go and watch it if that's what you're looking for. Guys if you made it this far I'm gonna ask you for two quick favors. One, please follow me on on Instagram at Alex Costa. I've been posting a lot there and updating Instagram stories every single day. And then two, please subscribe because we're on the road to 300,000 subscribers, which is huge for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Peace.